let's have a look at the Chinese remainder theorem. Let's suppose we have co-prime integers bigger than 1, which are called ni. So their greatest common divisors are 1, since they are co-prime. Then let's define their product. And call it big N. Now we have the following Chinese remainder theorem. It says that if X is equal to AI modulo ni for all i then x has a unique solution in g interval 0 up to n and all other solutions are equal to this solution modulo big N. So, for instance, if a number equals to something modulo 3 and to something else modulo 5, there's a unique solution, modulo 15, uh, between 0 and 14. So, the proof basically goes as follows. Let's suppose that we are in the case k equal to 2 and that x is equal to a1 modulo n1 as well as equal to a2 modulo n2 then by bezu we have that the great if the greatest common divisor of n1 and n2 is 1, then there are integers m1 and m2, which satisfy, which give a multiple, well, which give a linear combination of n1 and n2, which is equal to 1, namely the greatest common divisor. So these integers exist, exist and then a solution for x equals a1 m1 n1 plus a2 m2, n2 so this is a solution and if this is a solution it is fairly obvious that any multiple of n added to x is also a solution now, why is this a solution? So let's compute x mod n1. Well, it's equal to 0 plus a2 times. And then we use our uh, Bezu equation, which says that m2 n2 is equal to 1 minus m1 n1. So therefore, I have exchanged my indices. This should be a2, a1. And then this is a1. 
such that indeed modulo n1 we have that this is a1 and similarly for a2 now this makes it obvious that there is a solution between 0 and n because I can bring the solution I gave into this interval and then it's not difficult to show that this solution is unique and then by induction one uh, generalizes this to k and i now, one interesting application of this Chinese remainder theorem is that if you have the group, the cyclic group Zn, which is nothing but Z modulo Nz, then there is actually an isomorphism of rings, which maps Zn to Z to the product of the ZNIs. Direct product of rings. This is a ring isomorphism. And the way this map works is it maps X mod N to X mod and one, etc., all the way up to x mod and k. And then by the Chinese remainder theorem, you can see that this is uh, surjective. And then moreover, because we have the same number of elements, this is bijective. And then we can check that the operations indeed um, are preserved by the map. So this gives a ring isomorphism. This is all I want to say about the Chinese remainder theorem, which is heavily based on Bezu's identity.